Okay, so that brings us to our final exercise, which is a short piece of music that I've titled Waves. Uh, and this piece of music is in 7-4 on the video. Uh, as you'll see, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I've put it in 7-4 uh, visually because uh, that makes it a little bit easier to follow in sections. Uh, but actually, the piece itself is in 7-8, which means all the quavers are actually grouped into sevens, okay? So really what we should be hearing is an accent, uh, well, a beat one on, on the first note, but then also on the very first bass note. So if I accent all the beat ones, it should sound like this. Um, so really, if that helps you uh, play it with a, more of a sense of flow, um, then I would recommend visualising in 7-8. I certainly am visualising in 7-8, so the 7-4 is purely just to help it visually in the video to follow. But to play, it, I think 7-8 is probably the easiest way to visualise it. Okay, so in order to make this as playable as possible, as early as possible, uh, we want to incorporate the different aspects of playing that we covered in this video series, okay? So for the right hand, we were thinking about our floppy, relaxed right hand fingertips, okay? And we we're also thinking about having a still wrist. Okay, incorporate those two aspects, you'll be able to bring your tempo up in no time. And for your left hand, we want the uh, efficiency of pressure placement. So we want to start with the clicks, and then the buzzes, and then the full pressure notes, so it's nice and relaxed. And then we also want to practice doing the vector chord shifts in order to get the kind of the um, consistency and accuracy of our chord changes. Okay, so if you do all of those things, this piece will be very uh, very playable uh, very quickly. So I, I do wish you uh, the best of luck with this piece. And just remember, if you start this piece too fast, it will feel very tense to play and it will be impossible to make it feel relaxed. So you've got to start this piece at a slow tempo uh, and then push into something a little bit less relaxed, maybe push the tempo a little bit so it feels a little bit tense, but then work at making that feel relaxed. So you take these kind of little steps up, these little increments up in tempo, rather than going full whack, okay? Because you might get a, a, a half decent version of it at high speed, okay, but it will always be slightly scrappy. And when you go to slow that down, you'll actually find that it almost becomes more difficult to play because of the sort of the scrappiness that's kind of been learned into the into the music. There's no shame in starting a piece of music super slow. It's what I do, it's what all the pros do. You start it super slow until it feels really, really relaxed. And then it's the easiest thing in the world to then just start to build the tempo up from there. Okay, you've got to have a strong foundation before you can build a house on top. Okay, so best of luck to you, uh, enjoy.
So that brings us to the end of this instalment of YouTube videos. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves and taken something away from it that can, you know, you can apply in your playing in the future or even in your, your composing as well. Um, so my next instalment of videos is going to be um, based around percussive technique and specifically the kind of approach that I use in my own writing. Um, so if there's anything in particular you'd like me to cover from that area, um, do get in touch. Um, I'm all is. So I really look forward to hearing from you. Uh, any feedback, anything you think I could have done differently in this series, then just let me know in the comments. Uh, yes, I'll see you soon. I look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye.